Welcome to a few reviews and today of a Hong Kong content review, this time diving into the completely madcap, sheer lunacy display of insanity that is displayed with this film. Martial arts, you've got vampires, you've got crazy insane wushu parody kind of wire work, jokes about gender and kind of virgins and sex and just all sorts of crazy nonsense. Uh, that happens throughout this kind of hour and a half movie. You've got Japanese sub-villains, you've got a crazy kind of uh, dynasty kind of ancient war between Japanese and China, between kind of the heavily sword and the super sword. Uh, yes, this is correct in the film. A very high talented cast in this film, that has no business to be in this film. Directed by Wang Jing, who did City Hunter Jackie Chan film, which I wasn't a big fan of. Wasn't my kind of cup of tea overall kind of thing in terms of that level of comedy, in terms of what that film tried to offer. I don't think it worked for me personally. However, but this film definitely strangely oddly and very much as a guilty pleasure from start to finish um, made me laugh quite a lot more so than I thought. Uh, this film is, is a cross between Seventh Curse and that type of uh, surreal type of bonkers kind of action martial arts just horror effects with kind of you know horror elements and just complete madcap kind of comedy mixed with between a Stephen Chow film parody in the sense of like the wushu kind of genre and how just people can just do the most insane, illogical, death-defying, gravity-defying kind of stunt work. Um, and it makes no sense, it doesn't defy any kind of logic. It's in a magical, mystical, fairy tale world fantasy where anything's possible. Where surprising even myself, I really did enjoy my time with Holy Weapon, a film that was released in 1993. Got Michelle Yeoh in this film, uh, Oscar winning Michelle Yeoh, doing a mad cat kind of comedy in between the kind of hero trio movies. This was uh, 1993, so she was very, very busy during this time. Uh, definitely have some pretty really kick-ass scenes and she's a pretty mad cat kind of character called the, the kind of heartless assassin that kills kind of heartless men and she's kind of known as a legend in kind of in this movie and she kind of goes in this kind of madcap adventure. Uh, you've got uh, Michael Chung in this film also, playing the princess. Uh, she's really, really funny. She's just doing a kind of madcap kind of comedy style. She definitely has some kick-ass moments in places. Makes sense, like going along with uh, Michelle Yeoh, just a nice, easy, fun movie. You have Simon Yep in this film playing a very limited screen time surprising villain which is called the super sword which he can transform into an actual sword and he's going against the kind of heavily um uh, sword kind of adversary. You have Sandra Inping in this film playing the kind of prestigious kind of bodyguard who's protecting the High Emperor's princess who is constantly trying to stalk this guy, male character throughout the entire film. Holy Weapon is definitely a bonkers, just completely out there type of wushu parody comedy that definitely is taking liberties from a lot of those movies during that time and definitely have a lot more fun with itself. It makes sense during this kind of 1993 kind of release kind of time frame where wushu was coming into a very kind of hot fashion and where we do Doing kind of comedies with the Stephen Chow type movies, or where we're doing something a bit more kind of superhero fantasy, kind of epic like when the students of Zulu Warriors, actually coming fresh from the kind of hero trio movies, the giant hero trio movies, and just kind of crazy wire works and kind of stunt based kind of work and very kind of fantasy kind of gliding type of action set pieces that were becoming definitely a big trend during the 90s where you could have this type of action um, where you didn't need to necessarily have the skill set to pull it off. You could have very cleverly edited kind of stunt performers. You could have just crazy wire work that makes it look good on screen. And this was definitely kind of dominating the next level of action movies during that kind of time. And this definitely plays a lot into those kind of tropes and those kind of stereotypes. And there's a kind of uh, ancient kind of dynasty kind of tale between uh, Japanese and kind of China. You've got two kind of adversaries, good and evil. You've got the super sword, you've got the heavenly sword, Sword. They're going to go into an epic kind of battle for the ages to kind of to claim the land of martial arts and you know declare who is the best once and for all. And it's pretty just out there with its type of action with um, people turning into kind of um, blood mist and kind of clothes flying on the place and um, logs and all sorts of wheels and all sorts of things being picked up in the air, sword fights in the air without kind of falling. It's just completely goes for it and it's just so funny to watch. Um, just for the kind of the, that kind of fantasy aspect of it, and of course you get the madcap kind of dialogue and the evil speeches, which is great. It starts off as a traditional type of martial arts mushu type movie, then turns into a Stephen Chow kind of comedy with just madcap of dialogue and just scenarios. A subplot where basically this guy is um, been 
kind of groomed for his entire life to basically marry this older woman and he wants to get away from her and he's, he's, he's trying to escape and uh, he goes on, on this kind of madcap kind of adventure against the ghost doctor which basically is kind of friends and kind of you know teaching him a few tricks here and there and there's a kind of some really kind of crazy series of events that do take place they kind of bump into Maka Chang's character which is the kind of higher uh, empress's princess which is trying to escape her kind of marriage to a kind of Korean prince um, there is a wacky very kind of rapey bodyguard which is a woman playing a man who's just kind of pursuing this character for the entire movie um that's just really really funny it reminds me a lot of the stephen child kind of comedies where you know a lot of the kind of the women characters who play the male characters it's just surprisingly quite amusing in the film and um, there's some good comedy and there's just outlandish kind of comedy comes with it you don't know whether you should be laughing or not then it goes into kind of weird vampire territory then he goes into uh, ancient kind of you know uh, guides to kind of you know the seventh sword technique and stance and um, these characters kind of jumping on board with each other and just kind of getting in the way and some have different agendas some have different kind of purposes being there you've got crazy sub villains uh, from the kind of super sword um, kind of adversary Japanese kind of villains with kind of Black Widow character You've, and the film just keeps on going throughout this pace from start to finish it does not really kind of stop and when it does stop it just kind of doing more jokes alongside it there's, there's some of the dialogue is just so completely oof. It's definitely a film that's not going to be for everyone I think the comedy is very selective and it's very specific and if you like what the film's trying to offer and like the jokes and like the the scenarios these characters are getting themselves into alongside some pretty decent action set pieces there's some pretty decent high production value in places even though just get a bit cheap in places so it's a mixture between the high budget and cheap nature but also adds to the charm of the film it's definitely all sub subjective and definitely all kind of down to your taste and what you enjoy and being the fact this is from the director of City Hunter a film which I didn't enjoy and didn't really like much of the comedy presented in that film I just didn't get connect with me on that level this surprisingly has and um, I definitely enjoyed my time. So yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions on The Holy Weapon. I really enjoyed my time with it overall, surprisingly. Uh, it's definitely not going to be for everyone. If you want to check out this film, guys, it's available on YouTube for free right now. Uh, just type it in the search engine. Go and see it for yourself. I can definitely see this getting a really badass, really cool 88 film release down the line. I can definitely see a really cool, crazy alternative artwork. I definitely feel this film will get some uh, light of day, a new 2K transfer down the line. Hopefully that will happen sometime. What are your thoughts and opinions on the Holy Weapon, guys? What are your thoughts and opinions on this amazing cast and some of the comedy and some of the hijinks that happen in this film? Please comment down below. Any of the comedy parody movies that you think are really, really good, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions, guys. Please comment down below. So in the meantime, I'll review reviews.